guys so this is a new series that i'm starting and there's no name for it yet so um by the end of the video if you have the perfect name for it please let me know in the comments and there is construction work outside across the street so if you do hear in the background my deepest apologies um they've been doing construction for a week and there's no point in waiting for them to stop i hate them anyways this series is gonna be me no <laughs> Siri, I didn't call you! Okay, well, anyways, this series is gonna be me drawing my favorite fictional characters in some of my favorite outfits that I own, and um, I'm gonna be talking about them the entire time, and also, just letting you know right now, um, the I'm, if I can remember where I bought like the outfit from, I'm gonna have a link to them in the description so that, you, you know, if you guys end up liking what I wear and you want to buy it for yourself, go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so before I start, I'm going to talk about like the picture. Of course, I have to start the series with my all time favorite fictional character, Hinata Shoyo from Haikyuu. And I'm drawing him in this outfit that I bought from um, kind of like an impulse buy. Um, I went to the mall with my friend and I asked him, hey, should I bring my sweater? Is it going to be cold in there? He said, dude, no, it's going to be super warm. And so I just had like a t-shirt on and then I go outside and the mall, like to get to the mall, we parked far away and, and it was like an outdoor thing and it was really cold. And I was like, you know what? My sweater is still in your car. Your car is like three blocks away. I'm freezing. There's a Forever 21 right over here. Let me just buy something to keep me warm. And so I bought this. Um, you might think, hey, the shoulders are exposed. It can't be that warm. Well, it was great. It was fantastic. I was fine. And it became one of my favorite outfits because I think it's super cute and it's my uh, favorite color to wear, kind of. So, um, yeah, an impulse buy, kind of. And now I'm drawing my favorite fictional character in it. So let's actually talk about Hinata. Um, so Hinata Shoyo is from, is from, is the protagonist from Haikyuu, which is my all-time favorite anime slash manga. It is about a high school volleyball team trying to make it to nationals. Um, by the way, there's gonna be a lot of spoilers, so like, you know, if you want to deal with that. But, uh, so yes, um, he is a freshman. He is 5'4", if I'm correct. Um, so he's not very tall and volleyball is definitely a sport where it really pays off to be tall um so since he's pretty short he makes it up for uh he makes up for his height with his speed and his uh jump <laughs> he can jump really high for a kid his size and he has super crazy fast reflexes he's just um the thing is even though he has these uh, natural talents. He is not very good at volleyball because he just barely got into it like maybe late elementary or middle school. I can't really remember and there were no volleyball teams in his schools uh, those years so he was kind of just by himself practicing trying to get his friends who were in like the soccer team and basketball team to help him practice and so um didn't really have a lot of experience so therefore he's kind of lacking in that. However, <laughs> He is very, very passionate about it. Um, the reason why he got into volleyball was because while he was riding his bike, he passed a store where the TV was showing the, I think it was showing the Nationals. Um, I'm not sure, but it was showing a volleyball game. And it was, there's this guy on the Karasuno uh, high school team. Uh, they, I don't think they've announced his name, but he's known as the Little Giant because he's really short, but he's very skilled. And that's kind of what motivated him to start volleyball. So, therefore, that's, okay, that's kind of like the backstory into it. Um, but like I said, he's not very good at, I mean, he's not bad. <laughs> he's definitely improved a lot. Um, but it's just his passion. He has such high, high passion for it. Oh, I feel like such a nerd talking about this, but you know what? This is going to be Leslie's nerds out for like a couple minutes about each character. But yes, what was I saying? I totally forgot. Um... But he's just very passionate. He's a very outgoing, pretty extroverted. He can make friends with just about anyone and everyone. He's so happy and so bouncy. <laughs> um, he's pretty much the complete opposite of me in real life where I'm just kind of super introverted. I don't really talk a lot and I'm very mellow and he's just the exact opposite. And I maybe that's why I like him. I like him because I don't know. 
I didn't think I would like him so much. A lot of people don't like him because he's like this, the loud, like cliche of a protagonist. Um, but uh, I, I just don't know. I just really fell in love with him, and and just how happy he is and how passionate. And every time uh, he he when he joins the Katasuno High School team, he ends up joining the same team as a rival in in the past, uh, Tobio Kagiyama. Uh, I guess you can call them rivals because they played against each other and he was like, what are you doing here? And and they end up becoming like partners and not like in a romantic way, although I would totally support that, of course, but uh, partners in, in the team and they do this crazy like quick attack. They call it like the godlike quick and they call it the freak quick and they call it, and like they're known as a freak duo, um, freak quick duo. Anyways, but just that every time they pull off that move <laughs> the free quick it, it it makes me like lose my mind because i'm so proud and then the other team is always so surprised like they just have to stand there in shock for a minute because they couldn't react fast enough and they're like how do these how is that even possible and and it's just awesome and i i, was, uh, I just get so into it i didn't think i would get into a volleyball anime i didn't get i didn't think i'd get into any sports anime um but here i am i I don't know. I think it's mostly the reason why I love the anime so much is because of the characters. All of the characters are super duper likable. Even the rivals are super likable. Like there are some teams where I, I hated them and then I'm just like, you know what? I freaking love these people. And they're just high school kids and they're just so great. And they they all have strengths and weaknesses and backstories and why they are the way they are and it's just so good so i think it's the characters or you know that's the reason why i love this really weird volleyball anime manga thing so that's i mean that's my reasoning i'm not sure i'm pretty sure everybody else says the same thing though um but anyways i was gonna say something but i totally forgot oh the thing another thing that i really like is that he's constantly being put down and it never stops him um especially with uh, Kageyama, because Kageyama is the setter of the team. He's also a freshman. He's called like the genius setter. Um, he's like a natural pro. He's super good at what he does. Um, he's known for being great. And Hinata has been told multiple times that without Kageyama, he would be nothing because he's Kageyama is the one that's able to bring out like his uh, his best or his skill. And, and even if he's not told this, the readers are told over and over again, like in, from characters in the background saying he would be nothing without him. But the fact that he does, he has been told in like to his face and, and <laughs> it's just so sad because I, I always put myself in the shoes of other people and other characters and I can't, can't even imagine how that feels to be told that without somebody else, you're worthless pretty much that you need to step it up or whatever that you yeah that you're not good enough and if it weren't for them you wouldn't be on the team and and you'd be on the bench and whatever and it's just I don't know <laughs> but even though it I'm, it shows that it hurts him or whatever it doesn't show his face often he doesn't quit and he doesn't let it get to him well he lets it get to him in the in the fact that it makes him it pushes him harder to improve my voice kind of like cracked there kind of like died a little bit i think i'm getting too emotional but uh, <laughs> yeah and he's constantly being put down for his height and for his lack of skill and and in games like he'll accomplish this thing in the game and then it boosts his ego only for the other team to kind of catch on to what he does and then he's just you know not doing so great they're going past his blocks there they're reading his uh, spikes and they block him. I don't know. And so even when all that happens and it definitely puts him down, he finds ways to go around it, to to find different ways of scoring and to blocking. And just in the recent chapter, uh, he kept blocking this one character. And, it, and he was successful once, but then the other times he completely failed. And then he had to think, okay, which blocker have I played against? that I really, really hated. And then he figured it out who it was, which I definitely would not have predicted. It was this guy from uh, Sejal. But, um, and then he was like, I hated his blocks. So then he imitated those blocks and he did a great job. Um, so he learns a lot from other people. He learns a lot from rivals. There's one chapter where Kageyama was invited to this like 
this like elite like training camp thing and Hinata was obviously not invited because you know he's not the most skilled player but he sneaks I, like I said it's gonna be spoiler central so if you hate spoilers I'm sorry um but he sneaks into this other training camp with his other guy the other guy did not sneak in he was invited Hinata was not invited to anything but he snuck to this other one um he was not allowed to play because he was not allowed to be there but he was able to learn just from watching and just from thinking about what he's learned in the past and he was the ball boy so he learned a lot from that and the, he just tries to take every single opportunity he can to learn and to improve himself even when he's not actually playing and i think that's pretty motivational i think that's pretty inspiring <laughs> so yeah i think that's probably a lot of the reasons why i like him he's always being put down but it doesn't stop him he he does his best to learn at every moment he can and he's just very very passionate about what he does and he loves it and uh even though you know even though a lot of people tell him he's not supposed to be there he loves it so thank you construction work from outside i love it um he's also just very cute <laughs> and he's so small and cute and i just want to hold him and just tell him he's doing a very good job and i'm very proud of him so that's going to be the end of this video. I'm trying not to make it too long. I can talk about him forever, but I'm going to try to just not do that. So thank you so much for watching. Sorry this was boring, but uh, you know, I think going into your favorite characters can tell a lot about yourself. So maybe you'll learn something about me through this video and you'll learn about why I love him. And you know, I would really like to hear about some of your favorite characters. I think what we should do is Every video, I'll say one favorite character, and you guys also say one favorite character of yours. Because I'm going to be doing multiple of these, so don't like put five favorite characters, you know? So go ahead and leave a comment about one of your favorite characters in the comments. I would like to know um, some of, you know, your opinions, and maybe I might get into other series because of you guys. And also, again, I don't have a name for this series, so if you have any suggestions, just let me know and I will be down. All right, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. I love you very much and we are done. Uh, be good outlets. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, subscribe, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Bye, I love you, bye. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>